is critical for many patients left disabled by life-changing accidents or by a painful health disorder. And now specialized gyms are offering sports and fitness programs to make it easier for people to stay healthy. Wei Jia Zhang reports from Washington. Harsh Thacker was the victim of a violent crime 12 years ago that left him in a wheelchair. He didn't know how he would keep his body in shape. It was difficult to understand how to work out again, how I was still going to remain healthy. Okay. It's about getting it higher, okay. Okay? okay? Thacker now coordinates a fitness program at the National Rehabilitation Hospital in Washington. It's open to anyone who is disabled, free of charge. Without this program, I don't know where I would be. 11, 12. Trainers customize workouts for patients who have had strokes, brain tumors, MS, and debilitating injuries. The goal is to help people who can't stay active improve their strength and endurance. There are no limits to what people are capable of doing. That's our motto here. 66-year-old Ray Bourgeois is a quadriplegic after a snow tubing accident. This electric stationary bike moves his legs for him, critical for rebuilding muscles. I've followed up with uh, therapy sessions here at the hospital and uh, I'm determined to get out of my wheelchair. Participants say it's not the exercise alone that makes a difference. It's doing it with people who know exactly what they're going through. Zandra Miller says the program has helped her feel better. It has given me a second lease on life. It has. Physically and emotionally. Weija Jang, CBS News, Washington. The trainers say the program also improves the mood and the confidence of their patients.